Okay, for this video I'm gonna um, show you how to create uh, a feature class and um, edit it or digitize some features on the world imagery. Um, for example, the lab you're gonna do, you're gonna be digitizing the buildings on the Casper College campus. So I'm just gonna go through um, an example on that. Um, as you can see, what I have open now is ArcGIS Pro, and I have a project called uh, My Project One. Um, and you may or may not have noticed when you create a project in ArcGIS Pro, it it creates a folder, and you can see over here on the right in my catalog pane um, that it has created a folder called My Project One. Um, and in in that, when you create a project, it it creates what's called a geodatabase. So you can see there's a geodatabase here called myproject1.gdb, which stands for geodatabase. So that is where you're going to create all of the data that you create, or, or that's where you're going to store all the data you create, and that's where we're going to create the, the files to digitize our buildings. Um, so to start off with, I'm going to create uh, a feature class um, call and I'm just going to call it buildings because that's that's what we're going to use to digitize or trace around the buildings on the Casper College campus. Uh, so I'm going to go to my the, the folder where my project is. In this case, it's my project one. I'm going to hit the arrow next to it, and I'm going to um, I'm going to go to the geo database. I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to say new and I'm going to say feature class. And so I'm going to name this feature class buildings. Notice I can choose what kind of feature class I want, polygon, line, or point. Now for this lab I'm going to have you um, also digitize the, the streets. In that case it would be a line. I'm also going to have you put a dot on the buildings of all the buildings on campus that you attend during the week if you if you're on campus and in that case it would be a point uh, but the building outlines are obviously going to be a polygon so that's what I'm going to choose I'm going to click next um, this is where you can choose what kind of attributes are in the attribute table um, in this case um, one attribute that we're going to want is the name of the building so I'm going to click see here it says click here to add a new field so I'm going to click there the new field we want to um, add is called building name and it's going to be a text okay um, another field just to show you how this will work another field I might add let's add a field called square feet and we can calculate the square footage of the buildings at least of the roof in this case that's not part of the lab that I'm having you do but this is just an example just to show you and instead of a text though this square foot is going to be double which will allow for decimal places uh, you can add more attributes if you want um, those are the only two that I want to do right now so let's go ahead and click next uh, this is where you need to give your feature class a projection and you want to give it the projection that your map is in. And right now my map is in NAD83 UTM Zone 12 and actually I'm going to change that since this is in Casper. Um, I'm going to go over here to my map and click on properties and go to coordinate system. I don't want it to be in Zone 12. Casper is actually in 13 so I'm going to switch it to 13. Click OK. Um, notice this didn't update, but let's see if I can figure out how to change it here. Um, well, we can choose whatever we want in the list here. I'm going to choose down here on this list 13. So I'm going to click 13, click Next. Um, don't worry about tolerance right now. We will talk about tolerance in the next class. So that would be um, Geography 1110, but don't worry about it now. We 
don't need to worry about resolution either. And then just click finish. And so you can see it added uh, the buildings feature class. Now it didn't add that to my map, but I'm going to go ahead and drag this over. Okay. And it gave it a blue uh, color. I want to click on this symbol and I want I want to give it an outline. I'm going to give it a I'm going to choose black outline and then I'm going to go to properties and instead of black I'm going to make it red just so we can see it a little better. Obviously there's nothing to see yet. This is just a blank feature class. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to digitize the building. So I'm going to close the catalog pane. And I'm going to highlight buildings. I'm going to go up here to edit. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit the edit tab and I'm going to click create. My create window pops up over to the right and I'm going to click on buildings. And the first polygon here, or the first tool here is polygon. So I'm going to click on that. Notice there's other tools in here. Uh, that you can choose. Circle, square, oval, a um, lot of different tools that you can you can choose from. The one we want to do though is just polygon. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to pick a building and I'm going to trace it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll do the union first. So every time you left click it's going to put a vertice in. So I'm just left clicking on my mouse. Just going to trace the trace the building here the best I can. If you make a mistake, you can hover your mouse over verti vertice and say delete vertex. And then you can either double click your mouse to finish it or you can hit F2 on your keyboard and that finishes a sketch. Okay, so there you can see I traced the student union building. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on buildings and say and open the attribute table. And I'm going to name the building. So I'll call it uh, student union. Okay. And I always like to click up here on Edit and click Save to save my edits. And I'm going to close <clears throat> the attribute table. Now I'm going to do one more building here. I'll go ahead and do. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, do Crampert Theater. So again, make sure my polygon tools clicked on. And I'm just going to. Again, the more vertices you click in, the more uh, accurate accurate you're going to be. So I'm going to keep, keep tracing around here. Trying to be as accurate as I can. Hit F2 and finish it. So there's Cramper Theater. Again, I'm going to right click on buildings, open the attribute table, and I'm going to type in Cramper Theater. Okay, and again, I'm going to save my edits. And I'm going to close the attribute table. So again, in the lab, I want you to do all the major buildings on campus. I'm just going to do these two just as an example. Um, 
Well, one thing I want to show you, so that's how, that's how you digitize a feature, and you'll do the same thing uh, with the streets, except it'll be a line, and then you'll click a point on all the buildings that you visit uh, when you come to campus during the week. Um, but, but the one thing I want to show you is, uh, remember I put in that square feet column in the attribute table. So I'm going to open the attribute table up again. <clears throat> and I'm going to clear, uh, clear the selection. And I'm going to show you how to calculate the square footage. So uh, I'm going to right click on the column square feet. I'm going to go to calculate geometry. So it brings up the calculate geometry tool over here on the right. My input feature is obviously going to be buildings. My target field is square feet. Uh, the property I want to calculate is area. And then the unit I can pick whether I want acres, square miles, square kilometers, meters, but I want to do feet. Okay, and then I need to pick a coordinate system, and we can just choose the same coordinate system as the building, so that's what I'm going to choose right here. And then I'm going to click Run. And there we go, you can see we just calculated the square, uh, the square footage. Notice uh, I can highlight this row here. Oops, I accidentally created a, a new row on my table. I don't want to do that. I can get rid of that here in a minute. But I can highlight the row for a union, and it highlights it on the map, and it has 40,000 square feet, at least on the roof. Okay, that's just the roof. And then I can click the other row, uh, which is, and it didn't take... take my name, for example, Cramper Theater. Okay, there we go. And notice it's square footage 46,900 square feet, again, at least on the roof. So just an example of how you can uh, digitize a feature. Uh, I'm going to I think I believe I can right click. I want to try to delete this. So if I save my edits, which stops my editing, and I can highlight this row and click delete, and it'll get rid of it. Not sure why it's adding in those rows, but in any event, that's how you digitize. Uh... Okay, so that's how you uh, create a feature class, um, digitize a feature on the map, and then attribute it. Again, I want you to, for this lab, um, Digitize the major buildings on campus, digitize the streets with a line feature class, and then put a point on top of all the buildings you visit on campus. Again, make sure you get a hold of me if you have any questions. Thanks.